Hey everyone, it's David. I'm back again. So um, a while back, I messed up one of my um, Arduino Nanos. So I'm going to start again by soldering in the header pins. So this is what I bought. This is the description. And it was $1.99, which was really not super cheap. So it looks like the price went up now to $2.41. All right, whatever. So I'm going to go uh, ahead and solder the pins to this Arduino. All right, so here I am on my desk. And this is what the Arduino looks like. So I'm going to rip open the bag. You'll see the pins. And this time I'm going to solder the pins on right. I mean, I'm not a, I don't have a great soldering iron, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it right this time. And then there's the six little pins on one side. I'm going to try to fix that, make it correct. I want to show you something else that I bought on eBay. This is for a dollar. It's just a little watch. And you can see that like it tells the time. There's only one button. And it was, uh, you know, it's a dollar. So, I don't know. Electronics for dollars always appeal to me for some reason. But it's a nice little watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto the little breadboard I have and start, start soldering. I want to show you a new book that I picked up also at the library. It says Getting Started with Sensors. And uh, I haven't had too much time to read it yet, but maybe I'll go through it quickly. So this is what the book is all about. Thanks. So uh, this is what I did. I... Uh, Took it out of the package, and I put it on this little mini breadboard, and this is so cool. It kind of uh, fits really nice on it. Now I'm going to solder all these little connections, and then this, I'm not going to mess up. I'm going to try to do it just the way it looks like that. So this is what the, um, the Nano looks like. It's so small. What does it say here? Does it say Nano? Yeah, it says Nano. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to try some soldering. Talk to you later. So, I got all the pins soldered. It was very quick this time. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm not an expert solderer, and I wear glasses. Um, I'll show you how badly my soldering is, but I'm running the Blink program right now, and it's working. So, now the last step is to... Um, install those pins right here and install them the right way so I'm gonna go ahead and start soldering those up now okay I soldered the six little pins here and I'm just looking it looks like it's good it's not perfect but I think it'll work for what I'm using it for so I'll take it out of the breadboard and take a look at it so I did a little reheating now and uh, just try to take off some solder. Looks good. Oops, a little bent. But I don't think it matters. I think that will work as long as the connection is there. Looks good. Thanks. And uh, this is really it. Um, it's running the Blink program again. As you can see, I didn't do a perfect job yet again with these things. Maybe the third time will work, but um, it's a little crooked, but I think it will work for my project I'm working on. For $1.99, hey, that was pretty good. Maybe I'll find another one for under $2 again, and I'll make another one. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.